Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for those who don't know, my name is Jennifer Tomazzini and for today's video, I wanted to do a luxury uh, wish list for 2020. Uh, so if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. If you like this type of video, click a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's do it. Um, so for 2020, I wanted to do like a luxury wish list of 2020. I don't really, um, I'm not planning on buying any, everything on this list. It's just the stuff that I really, really uh, wish for. Um, that doesn't mean that I want to accomplish everything 2020, maybe next year, hopefully this year, more of them, um, a lot of them. Uh, but let's see, we never know. And also, it can also be that my wish list will change during the year, but this is just the first month or the second month of this year, and this is what I wish for. I have everything in my phone. I just took a picture of everything I write down so I don't forget it. And one of these items I already uh, bought. So it's already um, away from a wish list. And this is actually my uh, Cartier ring. So this one is like the wedding band ring that I already did a review on. Or like a haul unboxing on and I love this jewelry so much um, this one is the thinner version of the love ring so it's the wedding band in the yellow gold and I love it to have it in the middle finger I feel like it's so classic so beautiful I never took it away since I bought it and I'm so happy I did I love this one so so much so this one is the first thing that was on my wish list and it's already gone so that's a really good sign or maybe not the pants we don't spend that much money but yeah <laughs> so um in terms of i think we're gonna do shoes first we have shoes we have bags and what else we have shoes bags and actually that's it i know and i also have like a accessory so let's start with the shoes uh, it's not that long to be honest, it's kind of short, but the things that I have on, I'm really, really happy about. This is exactly what I wish for. Um, and I mean, there's stuff that I'm not quite sure I'm gonna buy, but these are actually like my holy grail stuff. So I thought it's good to have everything in. So first thing first, shoes. The first shoes that I want, it's something that I already have but I want them in a different color. I'm gonna show it to you which one I'm talking about. So I really want a new pair of Hermes orange sandals, but this time in the white color. Um, everything that I mentioned, I will put a picture on so you guys can see what I'm talking about, um, but I adore the shoes. This one is the Hermes orange sandal in the color gold. I love these shoes so so much. I have been using them the the whole summer long. They're so comfortable for me personally. I have them a size up. I'm usually 39 uh, European size, and this one is a 40. Uh, I could have bought the 31, but 40 is actually perfect for me. Uh, they're really really comfortable. I do have a wider foot, and this one are like perfect for me. And because I use them so much and because I love the style of it, I want them in a different color as well. Uh, black, I don't want them because my shoes are always black. So I really want something more summery. And the summery color that I uh, love so much is actually white. So why do not invest in a white pair as well? So I would love to have them in white. I know a lot of people say they get dirty really fast. But I love the look of it. I love the look of it with like a white, um, pretty short dress or with jean shorts or jean uh, skirts. I feel like it looks so, so beautiful also with the white ones. So I hope I can buy, buy another pair, but in white. Um, the good thing with orange sandal with Hermes, you actually can always buy them online. Uh, they always are, uh, they always have a lot of stock in it so uh, you don't have to wait or you know waiting list for them like you can just buy them online you can also buy them in the store i mean in switzerland it's not that difficult to get um to get them you just call the store and they just fix it for you so i'm not in a hurry to buy this one in white but uh, they're definitely on my wish list 
So the second pair of shoes that I really wish for this year is actually a pair that I wanted for the longest time. I have been uh, going to the store, try them on. I love them, but then I'm always finding something that I want more and then I purchase these instead. But these are actually the um, Dior Shador shoes in beige. I will put a picture in here. And it's like in the patent leather beige that I want them in. And I want to have the, the highest heel because I don't, do not like the kitten heel. Uh, I don't feel sexy in them. And if I want to wear heels, I don't want to wear kitten heels. I'm like, I'm like a totally high heel girl who walk with 12 centimeters or 10 centimeters. Or on the other hand, I'm the typical Espelrida girl, no heel at all. But I cannot do the kitten heel. It's like it's not for me at all. So I want to have them in the, the, the highest heel. I think it's 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters um, heel. Um, yeah, so the beige version I want. And these pairs, I already tried them on a lot of times in the Dior store in Switzerland, like in Zurich and also in Milan. And I'm always debating should I buy, should not buy them because they are quite expensive. I think they cost 790 euros, if I'm not mistaken. For the Hermes Oran sandals, they cost um, 550 euros, I think, or 550 Swiss francs, I'm not quite sure. but. Um, the Shadior shoes from Dior I know are 790 euros and always I know I'm always debating because they are very expensive so you do want to use them a lot and to be honest right now I'm not using so much my high heel shoes I have a lot of Louboutins as you guys saw and I don't use them that much um, I'm more I've become more a sneaker kind of girl and a sporty kind of girl than high heels girl and that's really weird of me because I've always been a high heels girl. I'm sorry if you're hearing right now outside we have like a storm so if you're hearing like really weird noises it's because of my window that is closed here so you can see it, you can hear everything so I'm so sorry about that. Uh, yeah so I do love these. I think these will be really beautiful during wedding also. Uh, I have a lot of weddings this year. My best friend in Italy is getting married in June, so I can't wait to be there. So these shoes will be perfect for it actually. And also my cousin get, got, uh, will get married this year and my co other cousin will have a kid this year. So she will have a baptize. Um, so I mean these shoes will look perfect. Will like. I could wear them actually in every wedding and every uh, baptism, but yeah, so maybe that's the that's the thing. I should have it as an um, investment piece, right? I don't know, but I love them. I think they're perfect. I think they're so elegant and they're not going out of style. I thought it was not a classic style uh, at the beginning when it came out. I fell in love with it, but I thought it's something that it will uh, fade away. But actually, it has become more and more a classic piece in Dior. So maybe I should buy it. Let's see. The next shoes. It's actually something that's so weird. It's actually something that I have been putting on the 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 hyped shoes that I will never buy. I think I have a video about them and I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. Where I said I will never buy these shoes and now they are on my wish list. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but these are the Balenciaga Triple S sneakers. And you guys know that in this in the other video I said I can't buy them because they don't look good on me because I tried them on. I like them on other people, but on me personally they look weird. They are huge. But that was the old model. The model, the model that first came out, I didn't like at all. Uh, it was too bulky and the colors, I didn't like the, how they match and everything. But the one I like are the one that I put a picture on if I found them. And these are the new version, the new edition of the Balenciaga Triple S and they have the, the sole is see-through. They have it in see-through, they also have it in beige, like a nude color, and they also have it in pink, I think they have it. But I would like to have the see-through one, the totally transparent one. I feel like they look so cool, so beautiful, and it's just one color, that means they look good with everything, you can pair it with everything. And I have been obsessed with them for a very long time. They've been sold out, but now they're back in stock. And I am complaining on buying them. On the other hand, they're very hot. They are very heavy. Uh, I would also love to go down two sizes. I have a th no, sorry, 
one size. I have a 39 uh, European and I would like to buy a 38 because the 39 was too big on me. Um, but of course you should try it in store before purchasing the, the size because I think they are very tricky. depends on what kind of food you have. Um, and yeah, but I'm always since like a couple of months I'm complaining I'm buying them so I'm sorry yeah I think for shoes we're done yeah shoes are done now we're talking about my favorite subject and it's of course bags so the first bag that I'm not gonna buy <laughs> It's on my wish list. It will always be on my wish list. These I want so much, but it's so expensive. And these I would love to have as a present. <laughs> or maybe, you know, it's so expensive. But this is my holy grail bag. This bag I will always, always want. This is like my holy grail bag. Like if you think about a bag, if you think of me, you will think about this bag. Because I think it represents what I am. Like, I don't know. It's like, it's just me. And this one is the Chanel, of course, because I, Chanel is my favorite um, brand. Chanel Jumbo, the classic one, 2.55, uh, in caviar leather, in the color beige, or beige eclair, I think it calls. The classic Chanel beige. I would love to have a classic Chanel Jumbo, the biggest size, but in the beige color with the gold hardware. So not in the silver, not in the champagne. I want them in the real gold one. And I want, I don't want to have a vintage one. I really want to have a real in store one. Uh, I love the caviar leather. I think it's so beautiful. All my Chanel bags are different materials, but they're not caviar leather. The first one is the lambskin, the vintage one. The second one is in calf skin leather, the Chevron Chanel Boy. And my third Chanel Boy, the small version, is in the velvet, um, in the velvet uh, leather. So I don't have nothing in caviar, and I think when you want to purchase something that expensive and in, in that really light color, like the light beige one, you do want to have it in a, a, a leather that will not scratch, it will always look good in time. That's why I want to have the caviar, and also I love the, the feel of it, but also the... Um, the shine that it has that's why I want, I want that so much and of course I want to have the gold because I feel the gold with the beige looks better personally uh, instead of silver one it looks a little bit more expensive and a little bit more elegant and oh my god that's my holy grail bag um, so yeah I wish that so much but I'm not sure I'm gonna purchase this year but it's still the first thing on my wish list so I adore that bag so much the next bag, and it's also the last bag in my wish list. I just, I just have two bags this year. To be honest, I haven't found something else that I really want. But this bag, first I thought to, to another model, but now I'm going back to the old one. So this one is the Prada Re-Edition Nylon Bag in Beige. And I thought a long time I should buy the Multi Pochette, the Prada Edition one. Uh, in beige but I am not sure I'm gonna like it so much I feel like it looks a little bit weird with the small pochette in front and I don't know if it really suits my style that much I mm, I'm not that I'm not that quite sure I do love that you can like uh, turn apart so you can also wear it just as a small bag but on the other side I don't know I feel like it's very expensive for what it actually is it's actually an island bag it's not in leather and I don't know I don't I don't feel like it's worth the money on the particular bag but the one that I wanted is actually the normal Prada re nylon bag just a small one like it's a small pochette and I love that look I didn't love it before but now when I'm actually think about it when you're in vacation and have this small cute bag in beige I think it's so beautiful and I want it in this lighter color because I feel like it suits more my style I don't want to have it in blue and pink or red uh, or black I just want to have a beige classic um, very summery color um, and it's not that expensive I think it costs 650 francs so it's not that expensive and it's very small of course but it's kind of cute uh, but I'm not 100% sure about it but yeah 
I still have it on my wish list. So next, we are done with shoes, bags, and now I have accessories. There is one thing that I want so bad, and that's a new passport cover. Um, the passport cover that I have right now is from Dolce & Gabbana. It's a beautiful one. It's in a leopard print. I love this one so much and I have been using it for the longest time, I think longer than 10 years. And because it's canvas, it looks the same as it did when I first bought it. And it was not that expensive. And I love that one so much. I think my mom won that one so much. And I'm thinking of having a new passport cover. So I have two that I'm really thinking about. The first one is the Chanel, um, the classic passport cover. I think it's in lambskin but maybe they have it in caviar. If they have it in caviar, I will prefer it, but if you don't have it, I will also buy it in lambskin. Black, classic black with a kilted leather with the silver um, Chanel logo on it. And it's so beautiful. I saw it already once and I'm thinking of that one. But then there is another one. Ah, this one, I don't know how much it is. I think it costs around 300 euros, 350. I'm not that sure, maybe more. Uh, but then there is another one, and this one is actually the Dior Oblique Passport cover in the blue one. The same as my Oblique um, tote bag that I have, the book tote that I have. Exactly in the same print, and I'm thinking it will look really cute because I do love to use my Dior Oblique book tote as a travel bag. So that one will look really cute in it. You know, everything is the same print, and it's also not in a very, it's not in leather that mixes in texture and that means that it's also uh, more durable uh, if you compare it with the Chanel one. Uh, of course the Chanel one you do can use you can use it with everything. It will always look perfect because it's black so it fits with everything. Um, and maybe the Dior is a little bit too trendy. I'm not sure but it also looks really cute and I think this one goes for 350 euros. I'm not that sure. And or 390 something like this and oof, I'm really debating which one I love the most oh, and I think I have to see them at, like both and then decide what I want um, yes so this one is the first accessory that I want and then this, the, the last thing of my wish list is something huge that maybe this year I'm gonna buy I think this one is the most is this this the thing that I'm most excited about and that I most want actually? And this one is a Rolex Datejust um, in 36 millimeters, and I want them in um, gold, gold, white gold, uh, and metal, uh, but in the white gold. And um, so no yellow gold. I want. I just want a simple in white gold. Um, mixed with metal I think it is and um, I want to have it with the Jubileum um, bracelet I don't know how it calls and I'm gonna put a picture here so you guys can see which one I want um, but I wanted this Rolex for a very very long time I last year I tried on a lot of them a lot of they just uh, 31 millimeters uh, but I was not sure about the size. I thought it was too small on my wrist. And if you invest, I feel like if you invest that much money on a Rolex or in, in a watch, it should be visible. So not that small. I want to show it and look at it a little bit more, not just the elegant, but also sporty. So you can use it during the night, but during the day, but also during the night. Um, so I'm on my waiting list right now for this. Rolex if I found it I will put a picture and um, and let's see but this one is the biggest purchase and this one is the one that I really really want um, so it actually although it's the last thing that I told you about is actually on my first place <laughs> on my wish list so it's actually this Rolex that I want so much and I feel like this one is the new model I think it's the new model of 2019 so that's why I'm on my waiting list for it and I love it. I think it's a very classic piece and I think I will never be um, tired of it. So that's why it's my favorite one. 
So guys, that was it um, for this video. If you like it, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, just write me down below. I will really, really appreciate it. And otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening, okay? Bye, guys.